Hey, so the other day I heard a really interesting story, which is also kind of fucked up. So there was this group of friends, or maybe two friends, it was two friends, two friends that were in England and they wanted to meet up because they hadn't seen each other in a while and they live like 160, 200 kilometers apart. And so one of them decided, hey, uh, I'll hop on the train the other day and come visit you and yeah, I'll come, come by and then ride back home, whatever. And then they noticed the trip was over 100 pounds and then they found that outrageous for the distance traveled. And then they just decided, hey, maybe there's a flight that's cheaper. And they started looking for flights for whatever reason, because it's already fucked up that people come up with that idea that a flight could be cheaper than a train for that distance. But actually, yeah, it was. It was cheaper for both of them to get on a plane, each on a plane from their respective cities, fly to Malaga, Spain, meet up there and fly back. And they spent less than one person would have spent on a train. What? Like, how is that even possible economically? Like, are prices fucked up like that in your country too? Are train prices that idiotic? How is a plane able to operate on that little money per seat? I know maybe, yeah, it's the booked out seats or whatever, but it feels like sometimes it's just loads and loads of seats operated at that cost. And the train that can literally transport like, I don't know, 600 people or something with a bit of electricity, bit or whatever, or some diesel. And the plane needs, I don't know how much liters of kerosene or whatever. Doesn't make sense to me. Does not. I mean, it's the same in, in, in Germany. Train prices are really fucked up too. Like if you know ahead of time where you're going to go, when you're going to go, which train you're going to take, you can get a ticket for somewhat cheap they call it the the economy or the saver price or i forget what the exact name is but you get it like for 29 40 ish euros don't quote me on the prices i haven't checked in a while and then if you don't know when you want to leave and you might need a train like in the next two hours or tomorrow uh and you can't book ahead of time you pay like hundreds of euros for the same goddamn train the other person next to you is getting on for 40 What's up with that? Like, there should be one price. No matter when you freaking go on the train, the train's gonna drive anyway. They're not gonna wait till it's full. Like, what is that bullshit, huh? Like, just keep going. It just keeps going. If it's full or not, if there are 10 people in there or not, that train's gonna drive. So why is one price cheaper if someone books it earlier? That makes no fucking sense to me. Anyway, so, yeah. It's pretty fucked up, and I just wanted to get that off my chest. I don't know why. That's what came to mind today when I saw it. Commit Daily, what am I talking about? That just infuriated me, possibly. Rant over. Have a good one.